everybody, and welcome back to the Top Flight Computers or PCs, depending on whatever Chris decides today, the <laughs> YouTube channel. <laughs> My name is Connor. And I am Andrew, and tonight we are building Data Dozer for photogrammetry and CAD workstation. So, this workstation, as I just said, is designed for photogrammetry, CAD, photography, and video editing. So, the uh, particular softwares are Pix4D, Virtual Surveyor, AutoCAD, Photoshop, uh, Business Center, and some other video editing stuff. So we're centered, I almost said nonsense. So we're centered around the 12 core <laughs> Ryzen 9 3900X, along with a RTX 2080 Super 8 gigabyte video card as our main components. That CPU will be installed in a gigabyte X570 AORS Ultra motherboard that Connor has with him, and cooled by a Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro or Dark Rock Dark Pro? Rock Pro 4. Pro 4. Okay, just check. It's the dual fan. Dual tower. Yeah, dual tower. Gotcha. All like right. The secret tunnels. Yes, and the screwdriver. Uh, to go with that, we have 64 gigabytes of G Scale Rift Jobs 5 DDR4 3200. We have two one terabyte NVMe HP EX950 SSDs. That's a lot of acronyms. <laughs> we have, as I said, our RTS 2080 Super for that CUDA acceleration. Uh, power supply is a Corsair RM850, which I have. <laughs> I pointed over there. I have it. <laughs> like, Don't uh... worry about that. Our case is a Fantex Enthu Pro M Tempered Glass Edition, and we will be installing in six of these Fantex 120 millimeter PWM fans to keep it uh, cool and quiet. And Connor's jumping the gun on me. I'm, I'm just starting to like cut boxes away. Yeah, I see that. So they stole my knife, so now I have to use an X-Acto knife. I have my knife. It's fine. I have an X-Acto knife. It works. So Wait, who's we. Who stole it? Yeah, don't don't you throw that knife at me, boy. Boy. Who stole your knife? Me? Oh. <laughs> you put, you stole I put your it own somewhere knife. else. Yeah, you've Connor's been working on special projects all over the office the past like two weeks. Yep, which should that video so, should be live uh next week. Yeah, so not only has his knife been displaced, there's about two pounds of acrylic shavings on the floor. Um there's there's like four in the back. Various right here. water cooling <laughs> parts and fluids everywhere. Including staining the desk. It's just, it's just we, don't, uh, we don't talk about the desk, okay? I'm talking about We now the desk. have a big <laughs> desk over here. Uh, uh, Chris, we didn't tell Chris that either, so. Hey, Chris, we now have a big desk. I thought he heard that. <laughs> He's just giving me a look. Yeah, it's uh, Yeah, it's it's a little pink. It's fine. Full don't worry about it. a mess in here right now. Ironically, the fluid that we used was not pink. <laughs> I'm hearing this wee word a lot. True. Uh, true, true. All right, so tonight's build, as I mentioned, for photogrammetry, which I can now pronounce flawlessly. Um, <laughs> flawlessly. So for anyone who may not know, photogrammetry is actually, it's kind of the process of, you take a bunch of pictures of different angles of something. I hope I'm getting this right. And then uh, the software stitches the photos together to create a 3D model. Um, I believe that's what it is, and I hope I'm not lying to you. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't actually know that. So if it is what I think it, if it is what I think it is, I should clarify. Um, I've actually used something similar on my computer at home. So I have a 3D printer, and I made with an old Android phone and a uh, Arduino and some 3D printed like table parts. I made my own 3D scanner, and then scan things to print. <laughs> How well did that actually work? Oh no, it actually worked really well with some tuning. You have to get stuff like lighting exactly correct. Mm -hmm. um, but no, it actually worked really well. Like how accurate were, were your prints coming out? Like They were pretty darn close. Like, So if you have like a, a weird glossy spot on whatever you're scanning and the lighting kind of hits it yeah, weird, it doesn't, that. It doesn't get exactly right. But where I'm going with this is that it is extremely computationally expensive to stitch a few hundred photos back into a 3D model. Because yeah. remember, when you're taking a picture, the the picture has no sense of depth, really. It's just a flat thing, flat array of colors. Yeah, I mean, one really good way to represent it is uh, close one of your eyes. <laughs> the reason why we basically have two eyes is depth. So try yeah. to close one of your eyes and then, like, grab something, your depth perception is going to be completely yeah, go, off. Go try driving on I-40 with one eye. Yeah, please don't. Um... We do not condone. <laughs> if you see Connor drive, we make sure to <laughs> get close to him. But uh, yeah, so that's exactly it. So it's just stitching together a bunch of one focal point photos. Yeah. 
you so, agree uh, to 3D poke. But like I said, you can you can do this at home with something as simple as an old Android phone that has a half decent camera. Uh, the downside being, I think, so I would do um, two rotations where it took a picture every one degree, changing the table by one degree in between each. Um, so it's 720 pictures total. And my computer home is, it's respectable. It is a Ryzen 7 3700X and a 20, RTX 2070 Super. Um, but it took like over an hour each time to reassemble the model. It was very expensive. And those weren't even the highest resolution pictures ever. It was an OG pixel camera. So, yeah, that's, that's why uh, where I'm going with this. That's kind of why you want a, a decent PC if you're going to be doing that kind of stuff. Because uh, it'll take a while otherwise. So I think we actually kind of got a weird system. A weird system? A weird motherboard. Oh, what's up? Uh, we don't have, they didn't include the M.2 standoffs. They included oh. four screws. But no standoffs? But no standoffs. That is very That is very strange. So does it have a different slot that has the correct one installed? No, just one slot. There's there's three slots. Okay. One of them has it so that it's already correctly spaced for. The, oh yeah, the size that's, what, that's what I was asking. But then there's two that are not, so okay. I'm gonna have to dig into our. Oh, I know which box of secrets. And, oh, we have two. That's right. Yep. All right. Yep. We're gonna jump into my wonderful uh, spare parts box. Spare parts box and see if I can't find the correct threaded insert. Box. Yep. It's frustrating when they include the screws, but not the standoffs. Like, I don't care about the screws we can we can get around the standoffs, that's a different story. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of uh, the time I bought a used motherboard, and I think it was off the hardware swap Reddit. Um, and they included the IO shield, but they included an IO shield for a different board. So it's kind of like an extra slap in the face, so they gave me the wrong one. It's like they tried, but... Uh, oh, did they really try? Oh, first guess. Oh, you got it? Yeah. So actually, each motherboard manufacturer, just to kind of say, uh, give the middle finger to consumers, <laughs> they use different threaded inserts. Yeah. So the threading on the motherboard is different. Yeah, it's, it's, not, um, it's not standard, which is why those screws come with your motherboard and not your oh. case. So luckily, the bag that I grabbed just happened to have the correctly threaded one for Gigabyte, which is no surprise because we use a lot of Gigabyte boards. <laughs> So another that reminds me, I was looking at motherboards, B550 boards on Newegg the other day, and someone had given a motherboard a one-star review because the motherboard did not ship with um, screws to install it into a case. Ah, uh, and like uh, classic. Yeah, yeah. Um, those those come with your case, not with the board, because yeah. the case might use different threading. <laughs> oh, people. That's a solid. Uh, yeah, I, di I didn't read if the manufacturer had responded it, but I think it would have been funny if it did. <laughs> Like, hell, well, they probably have to be civil about it, right? It can't be as yeah. fun as, like, you you dummy. Yeah, you can't be, uh, you can't be mean. Well, you can, if you're, like, if you're on the Wendy's Twitter or whatever, if you run it. <laughs> they try to be edgy. Like our Twitter. We have a Twitter. Yes. Where could we find our Twitter? I don't actually know our Twitter handle, because, like, Chris, Chris uses it, but it just posts memes. Or is that Instagram? What? That's Facebook. Yeah, yeah, Facebook. Do we have a Twitter? Yes. Do we just post memes on it? That's right. Yep, I was right. Nope, we don't have a Twitter. We don't have Twitter, then. <laughs> Is it a real Twitter? Nah, probably not really. Alright, I almost got the front fans installed here. Perfect. Yep, so, change it up a little bit, because uh, last stream kind of felt bad. Because basically did all the work, and Andrew just sat there and tried to add the monologue for like 20 minutes. I'm getting used to it. So, uh... Changed it up a little bit, so I'm trying to trying to stall out a little bit. Oh yeah, stalling. Yeah. Oh yeah, there, but gonna install the Dark Rock Four mounting mechanism. We're not gonna install the Dark Rock Four yet because this case, when you do that, <laughs> will literally shred your hand. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, our table is stained pink from water cooling fluid. We do not need it from other red fluids. Red fluids. <laughs> Just gonna leave it at that. As if Connor has any life in him anyway. Yeah, <laughs> I really don't. Uh, all right. Let's see. Open that power supply. I'm debating going another 12 yo uh, tangent here, unless you want to. What? No, I mean I I it's I, a... I think it's an awesome technology. I think it's cool. I think we will not see it for a very long time. I would say so. 
Uh, Linus had a video this week on the new power supply standard Intel is developing along with ASRock, I think. Um, uh, ASRock was just one of the first ones to uh, like put out a mother. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. They were, were they they working. They make the first board. Um, but yeah, Intel delivered, well, delivered, developed a power supply standard that instead of having 12 volt, 3.3, and 5 volt rails, it only has a 12 volt rail. Okay, so to give a, a more dummy explanation of that, a power supply, like the one Andrea is holding right now, yeah. basically converts your wall energy, wall power, yep, AC. AC, to DC power, which is direct current, which is exactly what batteries are, is, is DC. Yep. And a lot of the processes on the motherboard, specifically the CPU, are linked to your power. So old chips used to be used to run directly off. Their timings were based off of the the power, DC waves, or the DC current, I should say. Um, and inside of the power supplies, there are different voltages. Yeah. Someone broke in your car. <laughs> yes. This is just car revving outside. Uh, there's different voltages. So um, the main motherboard components are going to be 12 volt, which is the highest. Then you have 5 volt, which is used for fans, right? No, fans are 12 volt. Fans are 12 volt? Yeah. Um, so I believe, then it's just... I believe drives, drives are 5 volt. And I think some finer components on the board are 3.3. Yep, and then 3.3, which is less. Yeah. And what Intel did is they made a new power supply and motherboard combo that only runs solely off of 12 volt. Only outputs 12 volt. Only outputs 12 volt. Why is that, Andrew? Why is that so... Uh, it's more efficient, GLDR. Yep. Um, it's, if you have to do less conversions, it's more efficient um, to do it just output at one voltage. And you don't lose your step downs. Right. You're, because you're trying to step down a, a voltage. Basically, what, what a power supply is, just a mini transformer. Yeah, that's, that's actually all it is. And it actually does a similar job to your phone's wall ward. Your phone's wall ward takes 120 volt... AC current and converts it to five volt, uh, like two amps if you're running a like a newer charger. So they're actually doing similar jobs, just that the power supply has a lot more jobs to do, and it has to do it better. I don't think you guys can see this. I literally have just uh, the leaning tower of AMD coolers yeah. over here. How many uh, ethers do you need? Eight and a four. Uh, yes, eight and a four. All right. But yeah, so the, the whole long-term goal from Intel with that is to make things more efficient, cut down on waste energy, and... Uh, yeah, they're trying to hit their energy goals for yeah. these next few years, really. Yeah. Now, the downside is that any of these new power supplies is not compatible with your current motherboard. Yep. Um, it'll require a special motherboard that has built-in transformers if you do still need other voltages. Um, and the main connectors, there's no 24-pin... Um, I think the eight pins are the same for CPU. I don't know. Might be lying. I think so. But what's also really interesting is it also involves more cables. So if you have now a uh, three and a half inch drive, and you want to use it in this new twelve volt system, I think those will be dead. Yeah, I, I well, okay, an M dot or not an M dot two, a, a normal two and a half inch two and a half inch SSD uh, that still requires power. Is you have all the cables running to power your board, which is now I think three or four depending on your cpu i think it's three yeah uh, and then there's a, another port on your motherboard that you plug in a sata power to and the board actually does the conversions of it of the step down yeah conversion. So the, the power then goes from your board to the ssd instead of yep. power slide ssd so it's the same cables they're just in different spots basically because uh, yeah. you have to run a, a, a sata harness to your ssd now but i mean and hopefully long term we might even be able to get rid of those transformers on the board and uh, you know everything just use 12 volt and be happy about it but we'll see yep we shall see i think it also it was also going to raise the cost of motherboards and lower the cost of power supplies at least in short term oh did i just install this upside down no I, i'm good i'm not a dummy today there's a peel under a peel oh really <laughs> yeah i just saw it i was like wait that's weird <laughs> I was like, why is there a scratch there? there? There should be a scratch there. I'm obligated to make a peel section joke here. I almost have this installed. Good. That screw was going inside the way, so I need to adjust. But... So, this is Data Dozer, or Data Dozer. Data Dozer. Data Dozer. Data Dozer. The joke that we depending on, uh, depending on how you pronounce it, maybe we can get some data on that. Yep. <laughs> 
Actually, I, I feel like I heard once that data and data actually refer to different things, but I feel like that might be BS. I mean, yeah. I'm sure someone would use it interchangeably, like, differently. I use them that. interchangeably, honestly. I use them interchangeably. Right, I'm just going to let you run this thing. Like, like, the one thing to get, so I was actually originally from New York. Stuff. I don't have an accent, really. You're from New York? I'm from New York. I'm sure you're from here. No, I'm from New York. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. I know. But you'll see it when I say crayon. People get very upset at that. You say just, crayon? Just no, like, just crayon. One, one syllable. I say like crown, like a king's crown. Some people, they're like, it's crayon. And I was just like, no, it's, it's, no. it's crayon. I, so I usually slip into a little more southern when I'm around my uh, mom's side of the family because they live in the real south of North Carolina. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll slip in the southern. The more towards uh, Carolyn south of North Carolina. No, so they're in uh, Nash County. It's about an hour from here, but it is definitely the country. That's fair. Um, but one thing I'll say the most that sounds southern than normal conversation is coupon. Instead of coupon. Instead of coupon. That's an interesting one. I, and every now and then someone will point it out to me and be like, you know what I meant. <laughs> Just let me be. But yeah, that's the only like uh, word that I've noticed that I will say that people are like, what are you saying? <laughs> have there always included an installation guide like this? They have not. This must be new. I haven't seen this before. I have. Uh, no, they did on the 2080 Supers. Like, that was the, the, the Super generation was when they started including that. I can't remember getting one with my card. Anyway. Oh, yeah, my, my card also didn't come with uh, with retail packaging because I bought it, like, a week after RTX release off eBay off some sketchy dude. <laughs> really? Yeah. I paid. I overpaid for it a little bit, but I wanted it soon. But it didn't come with retail packaging. It was just... Wrapped in uh, static bubble wrap in like a plain cardboard box. Oh, gosh. I mean, it works. Oh, it still right. works. Yeah, it's just no retail. <laughs> so I think he like, I don't know where he got them from, like a OEM system or something. I don't know. Yeah, that almost has to be. But it's but also yeah, so triple software. Go to ahead. loop back because I forgot about this. Uh, the reason why I said we are probably not going to see it, uh, this is the back on the Intel bubble. Uh, is because it's only going to SIs, like large system integrators like Dell, at HP first. at first, and integrating, they will integrate it into their systems and then it will eventually trickle down. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. We, and another point you made in that video is that the ATX power supply standard has really not changed hardly at all in the last like 20 years. Yeah. Which is really impressive because everything else has changed, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. So uh, we, we really like that compatibility there. Even though you may not run a power supply for 20 years, it's nice to be able to not to have to worry if you can carry it forward with a new rig. You just, it's just going to work. Yeah, so that'll be fun for when, if it does trickle down to that spec of everything, and I can already see the headaches coming out of it. Well, that'll be all right. Why does this 24 pin not plug into this 8? Do I need to cut it in half? I mean... PC part pick on the top. True. They got our back. That's honestly a really nice website. Like, I hope whoever runs that is making good money off it. <laughs> if Chris has seen ads, I'm sure they are. <laughs> so I'm just admiring our 2080 Super here, getting it ready for install. It's got the nice four big old heat pipes in the middle of its cooler. The NVLink bridge. I'm just screwing in the gazillion screws that hold down our motherboard. At least the stain melts were pre installed. Yes. <laughs> Win some, you lose some. Hey, Chris, where's this one going? What? Oh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. I have a friend who lives there. Going back up. Online friend. Oh, there's another peel. How many peels are underneath the main peel? There are first peel, second peel. Okay. What is in Penn? I think there's there's some uh like American like locations there, right? Is that where Liberty Bell is? Am I making that up? No. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Pretty sure, yeah, yeah. Maybe. I think it is. Yeah. I'm and... I'm sure someone is watching the stream and be like you. It's <laughs> just like yeah. What did they teach you in school? Look, I I did never I never had a like geography course, okay. Yeah, the Philadelphia, Liberty Bell, and Independence Hall. There you go. The, the more the, you know. The, the main reason life. why I know that is because of National Treasure. <laughs> yes, that's that's me too. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to admit it, but yeah. Yeah, and he like digs the brick, the, his knife into a brick with marked with a symbol. He's like, this is where the glasses are. 
And then they bring out the Constitution. It was the last time that it was there was when it was being signed. But it is a movie, so <laughs> it is a movie. It doesn't matter that much. <laughs> Good movie though. Best probably the best Nicolas Cage movie. Either that or God of War. Have you seen that? No. You would really like that movie. I actually don't watch a lot of movies. It's on nowadays. Netflix. No, it's like this I've, is worth watching. Mind you, I will. I very well will. Yeah. Soon. Because... It's on Netflix. I'm pretty sure. What I did, which makes me very happy, is I'm building a, basically, like, a, a theater room, more or less. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, so I'm getting a big projector, and I'm, I'm setting up, like, a 170-inch TV. Mm, or TV? Projector oh, wall. I was like, that is a big TV. Because yeah. in our basement, there's no lights at all, so yeah. it's perfect that you could literally watch it during the daytime, and it's... And you're going to have your home theater PC there that we built on stream. If you want to catch that broadcast, go to our YouTube channel, and I don't know what we called it. Did it have the, a name? I think it was the Spire. The Spire, yeah. Just, just watch all the videos so you find it. Yeah, just every single video. That was, was actually a fun one, though. It was. That uh, case was a little frustrating. It was, but not as frustrating as our last build. What Nautilus? Nautilus. Yeah. Nautilus was easy. Nautilus wasn't. Once we got going, it took us under it an hour. Too bad. It was under an hour. It was like 50 minutes. True, but at the same time, I also had a hard drive and more fans and RGB fans. Yeah, I think some of your hardware was like used and stuff. No, no. It was like, I think no. it was second or third. No, it was later than that. Really? I think so. Are you sure? Inspire. When was? Yeah, we'll we'll get our our data guy on when Inspire was. Uh, can you get me a refin? Refin. 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 Refin tuna. Litter. That's a four pin. And let me not plug this into the pump. You know. Yeah. The pump header. Unless you really want me to, I can see, I see it. It's right here. I can only find four pins. A uh, four one would work. Yeah, I don't see any threes. Okay, before we already used all the three pin ones. Yeah, we probably did. Alright, four. So many. Jeez. That was a better throw than art. I didn't even. I just. I didn't even see it. I just heard it go thud behind me, and I was like, oh gosh. It wasn't anything heavy. What's that say the power connector for? The RGBs. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Will need the four point points? It's like right at the beginning. It was like right at the beginning. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the first one I did. I could probably look through the names and recognize it. Uh, you could also just go through the streams. I think, no, I did not do Discovery 1. I'm pretty sure. No. No. That was late. I remember that. Creator Fury was third this year. I think I did Firebird 2, I want to say. That was after Fire. Maybe well, I did. Here, Chris, go to the YouTube channel. I'm on the YouTube channel. Go to Spire and then go to the build right before. <laughs> so look who's there. <laughs> So look at the video and see who's in it. Yeah. That's the point we're making. That's that's kind of what I <laughs> Don't move with me. You guys probably can't hear him because I adjusted the microphone so no, that... they, they totally can't. Dang it. Yeah. I was trying to get rid of that. You know, we didn't want the background noise. Uh, oh, so the top Imperial, cam. Imperial Tower has Will. Okay. Maybe Spire was the first. I don't think I did. I thought I did Firebird 2, but I might be lying. It was probably... I'm pretty sure I did Mercy. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm still lying. Maybe I recognize still... the name, so I think I did them, but... I, I, maybe I'm still lying. Andrew, you still Firebird. Firebird 2? Okay, I think that was the first one, honestly. So when was Fire? Right Fire. Oh, we didn't list it on the website. Okay, that's why. I was looking for it. Yes. No, we did not. So uh, we're going to need the Sado cable, by the way. Okay, go ahead and toss I, it to I me. Can, oh, okay. I, no, I have it right here. You so. can horse doctor it. Well, what's good is, uh, what I like about oh. how you configured this is it's the closest oh. port to me. That was totally intentional. Totally intentional. I don't care what anyone says. You're like, I mean... It's not because I wanted to fan up. <laughs> it was perfect, you know? I'm a diehard fan up power supply guy. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Die Hard, which is also a Christmas movie. That's what people say. I've never seen the movie. So really? What? Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I, haven't, well, I haven't seen Die Hard. It's a good movie. It's a stupid is it, movie. Okay, is it is it a meme that it's a Christmas movie, or is it actually a Christmas movie? So it came out I've heard people around Christmas time, and it's like Christmas themed. Yeah. So... <laughs> Do what? what? Just keep talking. Uh, it came out around Christmas, and it's cri- and like a lot of them are Christmas themed. Okay. Because there's multiple ones. There's, oh, there's multiple? They take place at Christmas. Yeah, they take, yeah, they take but place. Does like, taking place at so Christmas So the main character always goes Christmas home for Christmas movie. and then, like, gets caught up in something halfway through when he's trying to get home for Christmas? So does he make it home? Oh, no. Don't spoil it. Oh. Don't spoil that. Don't spoil it. Well, the only thing I know about Die Hard is that it's a Christmas movie meme and him crawling through a vent as an image. Yeah, that happens, like, see every, that, every movie I that see that happens. image every year at Christmas time and I'm like, Okay. No, it's actually like legitimately it's a it's a decent action movie. Like it's not it, it's sprinkled with some like comic relief, it a, but it's not it's a serious movie. Is it well who's the guy that does all the explosions in his movies? Michael oh, Bay. Uh, Michael is Bay. it like a Michael Bay action where it's like explosions everywhere? No, it's actually not. No, it has a little bit more It's it's more like story driven. It has like more okay. content. Yeah, all right. It's not it, yeah, it's more content yes. than just explodey explodey boom boom. Oh, those are fun movies though. There is still action, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Okay, okay. You ever see, um, well, it's, it's, it's not called, Chris, you, you'll know it. It's not called Nonstop, uh, but it's the bus. Speed. Speed. No, yeah. I did, I saw, you're afraid of Keanu. is that yeah. the one where someone's driving the bus and, like, holding it hostage? Yeah, and, like, they couldn't go below a certain speed limit or it explodes, oh, and then. I, I've seen a movie uh, similar to that, where it's a train. That was I don't remember. Unstoppable. That was Unstoppable. Right. Yeah. Why are there so many yeah. don't stop moving vehicle movies? So that it's it's a similar kind of genre to that. Yeah, I would say. It, but it's it's more it's an older style movie with Bruce Willis, and it's just like stupid, like you know, stereotypical like bad guy and really bad plot. But yeah. it's a good movie. And Snape. Snake. Snape. Oh, Snape. Huh. Snape. I thought you said snake. Snape. Like now we're talking about snake. Snape. A snake on a plane. Snakes on a plane. <laughs> It's you know just movie was on really movie. disappointing. <laughs> yes, I know. No, no, I'm not talking about that movie. A, oh. a different movie that was very disappointing. What's that? Uh, Human Centipede. Not a good movie. Nope. Nope. Like not even good in a horror sense. It was just bad. Just, it was just bad. poorly made. And this is where we lead into great the top con- flight com- computer. Great concept. <laughs> bad execution. Anyway, <laughs> the top so, flight computer uh, movie. So we're coming halfway, out 2021. We're halfway through the stream, so I'm gonna navigate back to this page so I can read it all. So tonight we're building Dad and Dozer, if you're just joining us. So this is a workstation designed for photogrammetry. You have one of the cutty devices. <laughs> Photo- <laughs> photogrammetry. <laughs> you have both of them. <laughs> photogrammetry, CAD, photography, and video editing. We've designed around a 12-core Ryzen 9 3900X and our RTX 2080 Super video card. Super. Alt. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, mainly to be used with Pix4D, Virtual Surveyor, AutoCAD, Photoshop, Trimble Business Center, and Undetermined Video Editing Suites. So yeah. One day, we are going to get Chris to do a gaming stream. Chris does up gaming streams all the time. He does iRacing. I know, because I had to mute the page, because I kept Chris getting notifications. Chris does not do iRacing. Who's, who's broadcasting the iRacing streams on our page? How about sim racing? Yeah. What? They cross-post. Yeah, they crossbow. Oh, because they kept. By the way, we have a. Uh, <laughs> it kept sending me phone notifications, so I had to yeah. mute it. We have a race team. I know. It was actually really good. We have a team. Are we sponsoring them? Yeah. Do we have to pay them? We pay them Wait. in computers. Just say oh. they're my race team. Dang. Can we get a real race car sponsorship? Uh, <laughs> hey, Roush. We, we can get like. A we team. have it in. Don't give me that look, Chris. We yeah. can get a one-inch square race sticker on the worst car in NASCAR. <laughs> yes. So, we are actually building a system next week, Monday. Monday. Rough Did we charge. determine that? Monday. Rough charge. Like yeah, it's just Monday. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, Monday. It's Monday. 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 And that was actually for Roush. Fenway Racing. Is it for ice r- I racing? Wait, is I racing and sim racing the same thing? What's it for, Chris? It's for gaming and streaming for I racing. Okay, so I, so I racing and sim racing are the same thing. I racing is a version okay. of similar. Yes and no. Yeah, it's kind of like a circle is a, or a, a circle is a square. <laughs> a square is a right. Racing is a game. S- 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 sim racing is like the category. The category. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's, it, it's again a square is a circle. <laughs> a square is a circle. A rectangle. Yeah, never mind. You know the thing. No, a square is a rectangle and a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. 
Well, some rectangles are squares, but not all squares are right. Wait. <laughs> I stop. I stopped Wait. because it was starting to confuse me, and I'm like, I don't want to go into this. <laughs> I swear we're not dumb people. It's just been a week, and I say that every week because we I say that every week. It's always a week. It is always a week. No, this week was actually very easy. Benny, barely any trouble. Right? right. Hey, it actually wasn't that bad of a week for me. Yeah, it was alright. <laughs> That's not our problem. That's not our problem. <laughs> we're just uh, yeah. This is the problem of the people that are gonna have to go deal with it. Yeah, that is, uh... And that is not me. That's a not-my-job.jpg moment. <laughs> it is, exactly. If an uh, electrical inspector shows up there, I'm not going to say anymore, that's not our issue. Yep. Electrical inspector shows up here, that is our issue. A fire marshal. We have, like, extension cords plugged into... <laughs> yeah, that's definitely an outdoor cords. extension cord. Plugged into... Yeah. yeah, and the fire marshal would also shut us down. But, uh, wait, I probably shouldn't say that. Nah. Anyway... So, we, we are up to all North Carolina codes here. I'm going to make sure... Natural, National Electric Code, the 2015 version. Yeah. That's what North Carolina is. Yeah. Chris doesn't even know what I'm talking about. Well, actually, you probably do. Your day job deals with coding. I was I was right about what photogrammetry not, is. Not the same way, but... Well, no, I mean, like, building codes and electrical codes. No, and... Oh, I thought you meant, like, coding, like, C++. I was yeah. like, Chris is not code. No, Chris does not give me that. that. Use what what gauge wire you use for household lighting like fourteen gauge or something? Twelve. No, twelve is the twelve is for like normal outlets, but for like small wiring oh, yeah. lights, you like, might use fourteen gauge. Like fourteen. Right? That's all I remember from GC two fifty. What's um? Can I help you? You can answer this too, Chris. You weren't closed out to this. Um. I was right about by the way about what photogrammetry is. I thought that's what it was, but I think the software I use is called Meshroom. Um, it's free and open source. It runs, I think it uses Python. That might be a lie. Um, but yeah, it's very expensive to stitch all those pictures together, especially when they're high quality and there's and just like expensive expensive in the sense of hardware expensive. Well, which is also cost expensive. Which is cost, yeah. So you would, probably, you would probably, probably run much better with something like this. Um, maybe, but see, it is a lot of it is CUDA accelerated. Maybe not a lot. A few stages of it. There's like seven or eight stages. So, the more CUDA cores and the more CPU cores, kind of the better. But that might might be iffy. But yes, it might be like better at this faster. Like yeah. Okay. Chris is over pointing at things and not on the right. Yeah, cameras. I'm just I'm holding the graphics card in precarious positions. Yeah, there you go, there, bud. Actually, I'm gonna I need to install the the CPU cooler. Oh yeah, I would do that. That would help, wouldn't it? Yeah. I actually have a pack of bacon at home. We can cook that before we put the cooler on. True. Um, did you see who was it? Uh, Austin? Austin Evans? No, I don't watch him. He actually cooked on a Ryzen processor. I'm sure. He cooked eggs. Did he have to like turn off some thermal stuff? No. Because throw all itself. No, he put, a, he put a, 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 like a mule's cup. So like a, just pure copper cup on top of it. Oh. And then just left it in the BIOS because it got hot enough in the BIOS. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were saying you just had like a bear guy. Because there's an old video of an AMD processor, I think it was, was pre-bulldozer even, where they literally cooked like a piece of ham on top of it, but they didn't have thermal constraints at that time, so it just kept cooking. <laughs> the meat was like actually cooking. It was like, just look up a YouTube search like AMD CPU cooks meat, you'll find it. It's just, AMD CPU cooks meat. This is what, what I watch while I'm working. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to try something different this time. So normally I always struggle with putting the screws in. Yes. But I'm going to put the screws in prior. I wish they were longer so they wouldn't fall out as easily of that bracket. And then. That happen. Oh, look at that. I'm a genius. Why did I not think of this beforehand? You could use like a piece of scotch tape to hold them in until they're on the board too. Kind of similar how you can masking tape the uh, bracket on the motherboard if you're going to take the cooler off. No. Oh, yeah. My magnet clipped onto and this, it. And the screw won't fit back through the hole, so it's a pain. Otherwise, you could just put it on in the screwdriver and push it down. Oh, I fell. Yeah, you're screwed. Yep. Ha, 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 ha! Friday evening jokes, everyone. All right. I'll be here an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? That's always a good sign. Uh, it's probably on the motherboard or on the case, one of those. I'm very helpful.
You're extraordinarily helpful, Andrew. Oh, wow, it's actually in the middle of the heat sink. It's not where I expected it to be. <laughs> Be honest there. There's gotta be some solution where you can use a small piece of tape or something to hold it in place until you screw it. Like that way worked. It's just these are magnetic, so when it touched the edge yeah, of it, it, it picked almost, it right up. But that's the one they include, so it almost, almost makes it harder. Yeah, it does. It like absolutely does. And like I said, the screw doesn't fit down through the tube of the tooler cooler, so you can't just push it down. The on the, oh, yeah, the tooler. Some joke in there about me being a tool. I don't know. Provide your own jokes, man. What's bright? The light was like right between oh, you're the fine. monitor and the back of the uh -huh. page because it's like right in my eyeball. Oh, you know, uh, TDE just got a five tool CNC machine. Oh, really? Yeah, pneumatic. That sounds good. Like, yeah, that's very massive. expensive. That's very expensive. I'm sure all the students huddled in that lab together this semester will enjoy that. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the ratio of that they're doing is in person versus online, but uh, good luck. It's actually not bad, surprisingly. I, I mean, I don't know which classes are meeting which, but that's fair. But yeah, this big old machine. You know, just oh, like, yeah. I, why, where was that when I was there? I'm sure Kevin will uh, sneak you in to use it. Oh, be like, hey, hey, I mean, uh, Kevin, remember me? <laughs> Best dude. Can I use that probably to make a computer <laughs> part. I wonder if we can do copper. Yes. Ooh. You can do metal. You can do everything. Top flight sketchy heat sinks episode one coming at you. <laughs> coming next. We're making water blocks. <laughs> We're gonna put it on our own thread ripper rig. That's how much we trust our own machining. <laughs> Chris's face. Chris is very unhappy about this. Chris does not approve. Uh, he doesn't have to. I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> I love that energy. Just he doesn't have yeah. to. I'm doing it anyway. Uh, Great energy. I have to get some ones off AliExpress that Steel Designs offers. Mm -hmm. Just flat piece of copper with four screw holes. No, you just you gotta just go and grab cat and just randomly pull them. <laughs> Those might be too nice. We have to go full sketch. True, true. The absolute sketchy of the sketches. Mm. Go find my teeth. My throat's been itchy today. I will say, I just, I wish someone came up with a better design than these dumb little, like, clips. Yeah. They're so aggravating. There's gotta be a better way to do it. And, like, they don't work half the time. Mind you, when they're on, they will I not think, move. I think the way, I think the reason it's that way is it's very cheap. Yeah, this is dirt cheap. To do that system. If they had to invent, like, a magnetic system, it would cost a lot more to manufacture. Thus raising the price of the cooler for the consumer, and no one's happy. In theory, you only have to do it once. Average people only have to do it once. Yeah, we have to do it. We're not average. Million. We're way below. I, I mean, above. We're way below average. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> Welcome to Top Flight Computer with subpar service. <laughs> uh, no, the service is great. We're just sub-average people. We're just. Sub I'm looking at this billboard across the office. If someone has wrote Pepe on it, I'm very confused. Really? <laughs> Pepe says something else under it. I can't quite read. All right, I didn't <laughs> see that. Sad pepe. Can we put a sad Pepe on the stream overlay? I could. <laughs> Chris is looking for the billboard. I'm lagged. <laughs> He's like, wait, what? It's yeah. You can only see it right from where I am because there's boxes blocking your way. I think. Ah. Uh, all right. So CPU cooler is installed, and this thing is actually did not cut my hands up too bad. Oh boy. And then uh, my secret tunnel covers. Yeah. So I say that because these. They actually disguise these as heat pipes. These are the same like knurled bits, but they're actually threaded. So well, the heat pipe ones aren't knurled, are they? They're just flat. Ah, uh, yeah, you are right, actually. But anyway, they are flat. All right, so I'm gonna toss it over to Andrew. Graphics card time. Graphics card and boom. Hopefully, preferably. 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 Allegedly. Allegedly. I'll take this guy. Someone and then you should just be able to toss the. Uh, the rest of the cable's down there, and we should be good to go. Good to go, good to go. Do, 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 so, stay tuned, because we have a very special project coming up on... Uh, well, it's already done. Next week, yeah, it's already done, actually. You'll see it. It's over there. It's awesome. It's great. Just not going to turn the camera the to best, show you. The best project. The best, yes. No, it was actually a really, really, really cool project. Very fun. Uh, awesome. Gentlemen. Group. Is it a yeah. group? No, it's actually just gentlemen. Yeah. But kind of ish. I don't know. Well, it'll be used for work, so. Will it? 
no. work and play. <laughs> Let's be honest, no. Mm, hopefully. So that video will actually be a YouTube video, which is different for us, and it'll go live next week yep. sometime. It won't be a, a stream highlight or a stream, it'll just be a video. Nope. It'll be actually a video, which is rare for us. Boy, I hope you plug these fans into the right headers and not pump I did. header. I did. Are you sure you didn't use a pump header? The pump header's on the right side of the board right there, you can see it. It's the, the at one... the bottom? Huh? No, on the like next to the the okay, yeah, I see. I see. Okay. And you see how it says pump yeah. header on the top one, and it's not plugged into the top one. You guys may not be aware of this, but sometimes I I start doing the OS on systems, and the fans are very loud, or one fan is loud. One singular fan. It's is usually loud. a result of one of us plugging a system fan into a pump header, a water pump header. And by um, one of us, he means me. Yeah, I was trying to be nice. Uh, but that, <laughs> There's only two of us. <laughs> that runs the uh, that runs the fan at 100% speed. Uh, and it's very loud yep. and not not something that we would ship. So I have to go in and fix it. Pumps are run at higher RPMs than fans. Yep, they have to push fluid, not air. Yep, it's harder. So All right, right. so we are plugged in. So I'm, I'm tripping, and we're going to grab our power cable. We're going to plug it in, and hope that I plugged in the power button correctly, which I probably did. Oh, I did. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I like how it's just a meme now that I don't plug in the power connector, right? Yeah. Uh, one of our top fans is not spinning, but, you know, it happens sometimes. It's interesting. Which one? The back one or the top one? The one towards the back of the case. That one's plugged into the side of the motherboard. Okay. Or should be. Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's plugged in. Is it plugged into the pump header? <laughs> no. Did they, like, mislabel it? I don't think so. Interesting. That cable might be pulling too hard though. Pull it through, plug it back in. No, still no spinning. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll diagnose that after. Yeah. Because that may be a defect fan, which would be a very rare thing. Yeah, it'd be interesting. But it's possible. It is possible. That's for sure. So right. it looks like it's getting ready to post here. Cool. And VGA boot. So Andrew's just looking at the very, very tiny LEDs inside of the case, which yep. we can not actually really show you easily. So, yep. But it did boot. Those little lights actually tell you either what's wrong with the system preventing it from booting or if it booted. Yep. So it has gone ahead and booted now. We're going to go ahead and button up the case, and get the OS fan. installed, <laughs> Yep. fix that fan, figure out what's going on with that, and then uh, ship this off to Pennsylvania. Yep. All right, so if you guys enjoyed tonight's stream, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Top Flight Computers, so you can catch more streams like this. You can just check us out at Top Flight PCs, PC, PC, or TopFlightComputer.com, either one, either just one. to make Chris angry. Um, you can also join our Top Flight crew page on Facebook to hang out and chat and talk about anything. Yep. And from there, you can join our buy and sell group as well to sell lamps. Um, and or yeah. apparently uh, wall step finders now. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I hope Michael's watching. <laughs> yeah. You can also contact us on our website to inquire about a build for your own personal use or one like this, whichever you like. Yep. If you also do photogrammetry. I've said it right every time tonight. I don't know why I still mean. I know. I, I couldn't remember what it was. I wasn't trying to poke fun at you. I, just, <laughs> I couldn't remember what it is because this is our first system for that, Chris? No, it's no. our third like since third. I've been Never here. mind. It's our third. Yeah. But See, yeah. that's why I, I build the computer. Yeah, that, that fan's okay. All right, but yeah, we'll figure that out uh, afterwards. And follow us on Facebook for the finished photos of this, which will be yep. up soon. Soon. TM. TM. Yep. Ish. Allegedly. So we will see you all on Monday for our next stream. Yep. Goodbye.